to my viewers and subscribers. I'm back in, you know, trying to clear up some stuff. And I see this news while scouting through. If it's the first time on my channel, don't forget to comment, share, like, subscribe and touch the notification bell now. Man killing Bedward Gardens was lead of the notorious Berry Gang Police. This was for Thursday, March the 11th. Kingston, Jamaica. The police say one of the men killed during a shootout with security forces in Bedward Garden, St. Andrew yesterday, was a reputed leader of the Barry Gang, Collins Mingos. According to the constabulary, Mingos' other wild cause, Speng, was previously charged for the June 2011 murder of Michael Jonas along August Town Road, Kingston 7. Mingos was also implicated in the murder of Ripton Jones on Monday, April the 6th, 2020, along University Road in August Town, and that of Colonel Henry of Bedford Gardens on Sunday the 20th of August 2020. The police said that the reputed gang leader was also identified as one of the men who opened fire at members of the Jamaica Cons Defense Force on Sunday, March 7, 2021, at the intersection of June Road and Barrett Drive in August Town. Mingos was one of the five men killed yesterday after Bazin gunfire between members of the security forces and gunmen in the area. Seven weapons, including high power assault rifle and a pistol, were seized. A member of the Jamaica Defense Force JDF was injured during the attack. Four for months, members of the criminal organization have been raining terrors on the lives and the livelihood of the residents of August Town, Pepin, Tavern, and neighboring communities, the police said in a statement. According to the police, Jelani Palmer was also killed was a prominent member of the gang who was previously charged with the 2000 April, that 18 April murder of Gregory, um, Girma Gregor along the Mona Road. The police said that he was also implemented in a quadruple murder on January the 26th, 2018 along Mona Road, which saw the death of Ricardo Man Arts. Okay, Nakita, Ricardo Clark, Ricky Tiki, and Ricky. Akeem Sanchez, Jason Wallers, and Victor McKenzie. Additionally, he was implicated in the shooting of two men, also committed on Friday, January the 26th, 2018, along Mona Road as well, as the shooting of another man, on the 14th of May, 2020, along Encampment Road, Escampment Road. O'Neill Dixon, otherwise called Day Day, was being sought by the police in connection with the August 2019 killing of Wayne Robert Riley Jr. along the August Town Main Road. He was also one of the subject of investigation into two shooting incident in 2019. He was identified as one of the men who fired on members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force assigned to the St. Andrew Central Search Team on 1st of March 2019. He was also implicated in the August 22, um, 2019 shooting on a, of a man along the August Town Main Road. Tafari Dell, okay, Johnny, was a prominent member of the Barry Gang, or Barry Gang, who was designed or designated as wanted for the shooting with intended wooming with intent of two men on March 16, 2019, along Golden Avenue, vicinity Hope Institution, 
Institute and was named a person of interest in the 1st of May, 2020. Murder of Marcus Welch, okay, Root Boy, along August Town Road. Through the use of a CCT footage, Dell was implicated in a case of robbery with aggravation, which was committed on Tuesday, January the 12th, 2021, about 9 o'clock a.m. at the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus. Meanwhile, Akeem McLean, K. Tilo, mm, was another prominent member of the gang who was identified as one of the men who opened fire at members of the Jamaica Defense Force on Sunday, the 7th of March, 2021, at the intersection of June Road and Barrett Drive in August Town. When I look at all these guys, they are young, young kids. Should be up trying to get an education or learning a trade. And all these guys that just walk around and just kill. Kill for the reasons that they have a gun in their hand and they can load it with the ammunition and they just go away. Look at this one, Akeem McLean. This look, he could be my grandson. Look at his face. Looks so innocent but deadly. And now he end up being dead. Look at Colin Mingos. Look at his, this guy's face. He look rough and tough. Come on, man, Jamaica. What's going on? You young guys. When I said Jamaica, it's not everybody on the island that's bad. But we, what's going on with our young youth? Are they so out of control? A gun in your hand doesn't make you a man. An ammunition to slit into the socket doesn't make you a man. Having a Glock in your hand don't make you a man. A man fight, but he doesn't kill another man. You beat the man so the man can see you again. So you are the, all the cowards that are doing all the killing in Jamaica and thinking that you are getting big. You ramsack all kind of places. Look what's going on on the island. You end up in a shootout with the security forces. You end up with, it, with the JDF in all this and then you end up dying. C come on. When I read all of this thing, they got my brain jumping all over the place. What's happening? Why has is, why is these young folks got so out of hand and become notorious berry gang? Notorious clangs, man. Notorious all kind of gang, kangs, and lands. My viewers and subscribers, talk to me now. And let me hear your views on this. Once again, this is Jay Khan TV out of Zurich saying unto each and every one of us, Walk in peace, my friend. Shalom.